Sir, Dr. Ashok Tambi asks, although policy exists for the use of corporate social responsibility or CSR funds for academia and for startups, how, in your opinion, sir, can things be implemented better at the ground level? Well, I am personally grateful that the young mind has focused on something which is very significant. Corporate social responsibility, by virtue of a statute, they have funds available at their disposal. Those funds have to be well utilized. There can be no better utilization of funds than to take care of welfare of young people. And that is when you invest in education, when you invest in health. Now, I am not doubting anybody's intent. I am attributing no motives. But I was puzzled and surprised that to outside universities, beyond the frontiers of this country, our corporate houses have contributed as much as 50 million US dollars. They have given foothold to foreign universities here. They must look within. They must make it make an effort to see that maximum corporate social responsibility funds are funneled, put into our education institutions. They are the best in the world. Our universities, our IITs, our IIMs, our colleges are next to none. But we have to nurture them. Another appeal I would make is that alumni of any institution are its spinal strength. Alumni must structure in a manner to ensure that the institution goes higher up. The greatest think tank in the country will be available once we have federation of alumni associations of various sectors, like alumni associations of IITs can have a federation, IIMs can have a federation, uh, institutions of excellence can have a federation, and their input and their uh, affirmative action will change the scenario. It will be a game changer. It will be a defining moment for at least education sector. So I'm sure uh, the corporate world needs to be a little more uh, indulgent towards our institutions and to make available avenues available uh, to our young minds. Sir Priyanshu Dhaka has an interesting question. He says, in nearly every home in Junjunu, it is common to serve in the army. Sir, what made you choose a different path and how difficult was it? I was extremely lucky to get a scholarship and get admitted to Sani School, Chittorgarh. I can tell her, defense was my first choice. I did take ND examination. I qualified. I had a medical problem with my eye and I couldn't make it. I have highest regard for those who are taken to defense. I belong to a district where in every household you will have either a pensioner from defense or a working resource and we take pride in that. So I have not taken a different course. I couldn't get into that on account of a factor beyond my control. But now avenues have really changed. They have dramatically changed. When I was in Sunny School, girls were not being admitted there. Now girls are being admitted to Sunny School. There is no walk of life under the Indian government mechanism where women have no role to play. They are fighters, pilot fighters in the Air Force. No one ever imagined a few years back. Initially, there was a mechanism to put them for short service commission. Even that is no longer in existence. So I would urge that the ecosystem which is available make most of it. As regards sports, there was a time during our times that you must focus on studies, don't waste your time in sports, that was the psyche of the parents. This has undergone a big change now. Sports is an activity that helps the individual, 
channelize his or her inclination and talent in her choice. Similarly, sports is an activity that gives a nation great pride. And therefore, if someone is interested in sports, go in that direction. If someone is interested in research, go in that direction. And that is why uh, we have seen an ecosystem now that people after a stage get to something which they like. They could have done it in the first instance, but the ecosystem was not wholesome then. Now it is wholesome. So go in a direction where your mind tells you, where your heart lies. I am sure it will not be a good idea for a person who loves to play cricket and engages in golf or billiards. Sir Priyanshu has a second question. Since you mentioned sports, sir, on the similar line, he says, there are very few startups in the domain of sports goods manufacturing. How can this sector be supported in building a new ecosystem for sports, which will also benefit India's youth? Take initiative. I had the occasion, I was there in Merit, and I was with the Honorable Chief Minister Adityanath Yogiji, and I was surprised that Merit is hub of uh, production of uh, uh, sports equipment, massive. I can assure you that if we focus, we will not be required to import anything with respect to sports or health mechanism. The urge to go to outside equipment or outside let's say bats or hockey sticks is, is, is something of the past. Now, uh, I know for a fact that great uh, sportsmen of the world look to India for their product, whether it's a bat or a ball or a tennis ball or a tennis racket, and we have to get into that area. Issue is that young minds now have to think out of the box and they will achieve big. You would have seen something very surprising which would not have taken place two decades ago. Brilliant minds from IIMs, IITs are dealing with vegetables, are dealing with milk, are dealing with grain. And if you examine it at a higher level, they are dealing with your health. And health is most important for any nation. So, Take a big leap and there is no doubt you will make it big.